So this is the first kick of the cat at uh, doing baby back ribs over an open fire at the lake. Last night I had three racks of ribs and as you can see I'm marinating them with uh, letting them sit overnight with a little bit of basically whatever I had in the pantry. Uh, garlic salt, cayenne, paprika, pepper, um, oh and, and of course I a little bit of uh, oregano and let's see some Montreal steak spice whatever I had in the pantry so we'll see how the flavor turns out and now what I'm doing is I'm just I'm gonna douse them with some Worcestershire sauce and let them sit and uh, later on we'll start throwing them on the barbecue or not on the barbecue on the, on the fire pit so get some nice smoke going onto these ribs and we'll see how they turn out they actually look really good already Alright, so here's the start of the uh, cooking of the baby back ribs on over the fire. As you see, I got the fire going. We still need to work it down to the coals, but I'm going to raise the grill up a little bit and uh, slow cook them for about an hour, hour and a half. And uh, slowly add wood, as you see over here. Slowly add some wood that have been <coughs> catching fire in the back there and move the coals into the front. And then... Uh, We'll keep you posted on the uh, progress of these ribs. Alright, so we've been approximately an hour now and uh, the ribs are actually coming along really nice. It's nice to see that they're actually uh, doing a little bit of steaming inside the package. Um, pretty soon, I think what I'm going to do, because these are back ribs and they're pretty lean, is uh, I'm going to start to just take them out of the foil and start just basting them with uh, barbecue sauce. I'm going to use the bullseye barbecue sauce. We seem to like that one the best. But uh, I'm really happy with the way this is turning out. So this has been a little bit longer than I anticipated. We got called away on a meeting. So uh, this has been over three hours now. I've been sitting on top of the, the fire. I'm going to now take it out of these uh, the foil and put it onto the grill and smother it and get the fire going and getting that uh, the the sugars to uh, caramel and, and, and harden up and um, make it look delicious and taste wonderful okay I am really excited I just took the foil off of these things and put them onto the grill and the ribs are looking fantastic if you could see here one of the ribs got stuck on the grill and I moved it and it just broke apart nicely so I'm thinking these are going to taste really good So these ribs have been on for, well, probably almost four hours now. We weren't anticipating that. So um, the fire you see underneath is me just trying to uh, get that caramelization of the, the barbecue sauce happening. Because we're starving already. It's almost 9 o'clock, so I'm hungry. Anyways, um, the ribs are very tender. I tried flipping them over, and they started to rip apart nicely. So these ribs are coming along great.